Hi, hello, wherever you are. <coughs> Let's uh, begin the uh, uh, next session of uh, software engineering uh, in unit 3. The session, session uh, title is uh, Object Oriented Design and we are going to deal with part 1 of Object Oriented Design. So what do we do in this uh, session? Basically, we are going to concentrate on two things. Uh, we are going to talk on uh, what is object oriented and function oriented design. See now, you need to really understand the differences between object oriented and function oriented design. So once you have a clear cut understanding between object oriented and function oriented design, you would know how to implement and what to implement in the problems to solve in software engineering. Okay, so what is uh, function oriented design? See, function oriented uh, design as the name itself implements or the name itself says, function oriented design focuses on functions. So we predominantly focus on functions. Now what is a function? You all know what is a function. You would have written functions in uh, C programming. Uh, you would also written functions in Java. A function is nothing but a small piece of code uh, which basically does a particular task. Now. Uh, in a function oriented design we purely focus on functions that is the point number one you need to note and you also know that the functions are actually subdivided into number of sub functions which is very important and these sub functions are later converted into software modules now how we convert those functions to sub functions and later into software modules uh, we shall see that with a very good example in the coming stages now the next thing we would like to know is what is an object oriented design. So as the name itself uh, indicates, object oriented design focuses on objects. Now uh, just like how you have uh, function oriented design focusing on function, an object oriented design focuses on object. So you have a parent object, you have a child object, etc. Now you will understand this better uh, about what is a function oriented design and what is an object oriented design when we actually take up an example. Okay. Now there are two things which you need to know which are very predominant in uh, function oriented design and object oriented design. See function oriented design emphasis on what the system does. So you can uh, put it as a verb whereas an object oriented design emphasis on what the system consists of. So you can call it as a noun. So the two things which we, we use uh, very predominantly in English language verb and a noun. See what is a verb in English? anything which denotes an action is called as a verb and noun is a name of a person place or a thing so now function oriented design denotes an action and those actions actually become functions whereas object oriented design predominantly focuses on noun which is the name of a person place or a thing and those names of a person place of other thing becomes an noun so we shall see becomes an object and it finally interprets basically it is interpreted as a noun so we will take an uh, example now see now you have uh, seen two classical examples here i have taken a banking domain as an example now i can see here in this banking domain you have an uh, classical atm machine where you have uh, functions for uh, withdraw deposit and transfer so now withdraw is a function uh, deposit is a function and transfer is a function so withdraw function is basically used to withdraw money uh, deposit function is used to deposit cash and uh, transfer is used to transfer the money from one account to another account now if you want to uh, implement this in a function oriented design I write a function called withdraw function you can see here every function begins with the name of a function followed by open and close parenthesis and the definition of the function is written here so the definition of the function basically consists of a piece of code which will enable the customer to withdraw money now as I told you that in function oriented design what we basically do we convert or break down that function into a number of sub functions now it is not only the single function withdraw which is actually working now what I basically do is this withdraw function can be broken down into smaller functions suppose if you want to withdraw cash from an ATM what is the first thing you do you have to insert an ATM debit card now after inserting the ATM debit card you may have to give the pin number and after giving the pin number you may have to give the amount you want to withdraw so now I can break down these three tasks into different functions so verification of an ATM card would be one function and uh, 
uh, you want to actually withdraw the amount that could be in the next function so I can call that function as withdraw amount and you can also print a transaction slip if you need and the transaction slip could be a next function now this function withdraw can be broken down into three smaller functions one function for validating your debit card one function for accepting the amount you want to withdraw and the cash to be dispensed and another function is basically to print your transaction slip so now the function oriented design predominantly focuses on function similarly you have a deposit function here now this deposit function also can be broken down into smaller functions where one one function can be to accept uh, how much money you are going to deposit and the second function is going to actually print the transaction slip. Similarly you have a transfer function where it will ask the beneficiary name whom you want to transfer the account from your account to somebody else account and you have to actually give the RTGS and NEFT code. So you can write separate separate functions for all these task so now what you can understand from a function oriented design is in this kind of a software programming methodology your entire problem is divided into number of functions and those functions are broken down into smaller functions and actually those smaller functions get converted into software module now that is the main approach of your function oriented design now coming to object oriented design now object oriented design speaks of objects now as I told you, whenever you think of an object, think of noun. Whenever you think of functions, think of a verb. Now the same banking domain I am taking, see so you have a customer object here, you have a money object here and you have an account object here. Now the object oriented design not only talks about nouns, it also talks about the interaction between these objects. What kind of interaction happens between one object to another object. We call it as message communication and we shall deal with this message communication in the coming chapters of my software engineering session. But right now you try to understand that there are two types of uh, uh, programming approaches. You have a function oriented design and you have an object oriented design approach okay now uh, I have made a small uh, matrix here uh, which clearly differentiates uh, what is a function oriented design and what is an object oriented design and I have made uh, these two designs in terms of certain basis well, the basis would be in terms of uh, methodology in terms of key focus in terms of risk in terms of reusability and in terms of where exactly it is being used now when you talk of methodology uh, the function oriented uh, design classically follows SDLC. So you know what SDLC is. SDLC stands for Software Development Lifecycle. Uh, we have uh, seen what is Software Development Lifecycle in my uh, preliminary chapters of Software Engineering. Uh, what is uh, Software Development Lifecycle? It's a life cycle, it's a linear model where you have analysis, design, testing, coding, etc. So when you are following the SDLC, the kind of approach you basically follow is your function oriented design. But if you are following a methodology called an incremental model, you are actually following the object oriented design. That means when your software is being developed in terms of increments, then uh, you are following the object oriented development model or object oriented design model. Now uh, as you clearly see here, uh, key focus on uh, function oriented design is going to be on functions. So functions will be the point of interest uh, in function oriented design. and. Uh, object would be the point of interest or the object should be the key focus in your object oriented design. So when you talk, when you talk in terms of risk, uh, the uh, function oriented design would have a high risk whereas uh, object oriented design would have a low risk. Now what exactly you mean by risk? Risk is nothing but an uncertainty or uh, the problem which can actually occur in the future. So when you are actually designing a software using a function oriented design approach, uh, there is a probability that you have a high level of risk whereas an object oriented design uh, there is a low level of risk. So if you do not want to have risk in your uh, software then better go for object oriented design. And uh, reusability, one of the key factors in software engineering, function oriented design, the reusability is low. I would not say nil, but the reusability is low because functions are reusable, whereas object oriented design, the reusability factor is pretty high. So uh, when you look at this comparison, uh, it clearly shows that you know the object oriented design is by and large 
uh, has got uh, much more advantages than uh, function oriented design and last but not the least uh, the function oriented design is actually used for projects uh, with stable user requirements that means if you know the requirements prior in hand and if the requirements do not change often in the course of the software development process then function oriented design is more suitable whereas object oriented design is used for requirements which keeps on changing dynamic requirements keep coming and the requirements keep on changing so in such scenario we make use of object oriented design so in a nutshell i can say that uh, there are two types of design approaches you have function oriented design and you have an object oriented design and each one of the design has got uh, its own uh, methodology function oriented design basically uh, you know focuses on functions and object oriented design focuses on objects uh, that's it uh, thank you so much for watching this uh, video in my next chapter i'm going to talk about more on object oriented design uh, please do like us on our facebook page facebook page spdeck bang and subscribe on our channel spdeck thanks for watching bye bye